From the train robbers to the searchers to Hondo, Hollywood stuntmen helped round out some of the greatest Western films ever. But what about the horses these on-screen daredevils rode? One of the most prolific silver screen equines is the subject of a new book by Great Falls author Carol Bradley. MTN's Tim McGonigal met with her to learn more. Twisting in Air, the sensational rise of a Hollywood falling horse tells the story of horses' roles in Western movies, from the early days of mistreatment to public outrage that led to changes in the industry in the 1940s. Westerns were still enormously popular. Sure. Directors wanted horses to look like they had been shot. And that's when a small group of mostly men, stuntmen, began teaching their horses to fall on cue and they became known as the falling horses of Hollywood. Perhaps the most legendary falling horse was one named Cocaine, owned and ridden by renowned stuntman Chuck Robertson. Together they doubled for John Wayne and his horse, horses for 30 years. He earned the name Cocaine because a friend of Robertson said the intrepid horse was like a shot in the arm. He was so good at his job he even earned Hollywood accolades. In the early days they had no problem with falling horses. They would give out awards every year to the most intrepid stunt animal in movies and it was usually a horse and cocaine won that award twice. The book also tells how Robertson saved cocaine's life. During a break in filming while Robertson was away the horse became ill. This horse's leg was swollen and the flesh was just stripping off of it and it was filled with maggots and the vets said we need to put this horse down he's in a lot of pain and but he had discovered what an incredible falling horse this horse was. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, I, I want to save him. Twisting in Air is available online. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.